Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to implement the functionality of intent in Android Java. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, you can click on new project. Here you can click on empty activity and you can click on next. Here you can give the name of your application. I'm giving the name of my application is that is intent demo. Here you can choose the language. I'm choosing the language that is Java and you can click on finish. Gradle sync is started over here. Now once the Gradle build is generated, I want to design the activity first. So I'm just clicking on activity main.xml. Here you can just click on so system UI. Here you can just hide this. Here you can click on split. I don't want this text view, so I'm just removing this text view. Now here, instead of this constraint layout, I want to make it the layout over here that is a linear layout. So I'm just writing here that is linear and you can select the linear layout over here. Now I want to set the orientation that is vertical. So here you can write orientation vertical. Now I want to take the URL from the user. So I'm taking here text that is a plain text. So here you can just move drag and drop. And here instead of text, you can make it over here. That is a hint. And here you can write that enter any URL. Now here instead of this edit text text person name, you can change the name of this edit text to ed URL. Now I want the button that is open the URL. So you can just move drag and drop button over here. And here you can just change the text of the button that is open website. Now I want the edit text that is for the dial pad. So I'm just taking the plain text drag and drop over here. You can change the ID of this edit text that is ed form. And here you can just change the text instead of text. I want to make it here a hint and that is enter phone number. Now input tab you can change to number. Now I want the button over here. So I'm taking the button. So you can just move drag and drop. You can just change the text of this button and that is open dial paint. Now I want another text over here so i'm just taking the plain text move drag and drop and here you can just change the property that is instead of text you can make it here hint and here you can say that enter any location and for that i want to open the google map so i'm writing here that is enter any location and here you can take the button that you can move drag and drop over here and here you can just change the text of this button and that is open location now here instead of this edit text text person name three you can make here that is a ed location now i want to take one more plain text over here so i'm just moving drag and drop over here and you can just change the hint of this particular edit text so here you can write hint and you can say that write any text and that i want to share the text so I'm taking here one button and I'm moving drag and drop over here. And I want to change the text over here. That is share text. And now here you can change the ID of this edit text to ed text. So I have taken four edit text and four button over here. So my design is ready. Let me test this design in my emulator. So let me run this particular application and you will see the changes over here in the emulator. See here application is launched. Now design is ready. Now what I want to do whenever user enter any URL over here and click on open website. I want to open the web browser. It means that it is an implicit intent. Now whenever user enter any phone number over here. I want to open the dial pad. Whenever user enter any location over here. I want to open the location in Google map and whenever user write any text over here, I want to save the text in a SMS. So it is very simple. First of all, I need to write the code. So let me move to main activity.java. 
here you need to search for the id so i'm writing over here that is button b1 is equal to find view by id and here you can write r dot id dot button one now i want to search for the edit text so i'm writing here that is ed1 is equal to find view by id r dot id dot ed url now whenever user click on this button so i'm writing b1 dot set on click listener here you can write new control space and you can select here that is view dot on click listener now whenever user click on this button one that is button url i want to open the web browser and open the website so here you can write that is uri you can select here that is android.net uri equal to uri dot parse and here you can pass edit text one dot text that is get text dot to string now you can declare the intent over here that is intent i1 is equal to new intent you can select over here that is android dot content you can press enter and here you can provide the two argument one is intent dot action underscore view and the second one is your uri so that uri will be loaded over here in the web browser you can just start the activity so here you can write start activity and i1 now you can test your application so you can run this application and you will see the effect over here in emulator now here you can write the url so i'm writing the url that is https colon slash slash and here you can write www.google.com and you can open the website and you will get google.com over here not only this suppose if you change the url for example if you write here that is www.nfsu.se.in and if you open the website you will get the website of national forensic sciences university so this is the way you can open the url in a web browser so this is called a implicit intent now i want to do the same thing but the different application i want to open it means that whenever user enter any number over here i want to open that number in a dial pane right now it is not working because i need to write the code so what we can do you just need to copy this code so you can just copy this and you can paste over here now you can just change the name of this button that is b2 and this is ed2 here you can say that this is button number two and this is edit text phone number now whenever the button is a click i want to get the text of the edit text too and here you can just concatenate the telephone colon and you can write plus over here if you write here that is telephone colon then it will open the dial page if the action is intent dot action underscore dial and here you need to change that button two dot set on click listener now you can run this particular application and you will see the changes over here in the emulator now here you can enter the phone number for example one two three four five six seven eight nine and if you click on open dial page it will be dialed into the dial page over here right so this is the way you can open the dial page application from your own application this is also known as a implicit intent now i want to open the google map so let me copy all this statement and you can paste over here now i want to do the same for the button number three so i'm just changing over here that is b3 edit text three this is button three let me change here that this is button three and instead of edit text form now it is edit text location and here you need to change the edit text three now instead of telephone colon you can write over here and that is geo colon so you can write here that is geo colon zero comma zero it starts from the longitude latitude that is zero zero question mark query equal to whatever the user is passing into the edit text three and instead of action underscore dial you can use here that is action underscore view 
so it will open your google map you can just rerun your application and you will see the effect over here in the emulator now here you can enter the location for example i am writing the location that is nfsu and that is gandhinagar and now you can click on open location now it will open the google map here it is asking me to sign in you can click on skip over here and now you will get the location of nfsu gandhinagar in google map over here so now i have opened the third native application from my own application the first i have opened the web browser second i have opened the dial pad third i have opened the google map now i want to share the text so you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here now i'm talking about the button number four so i'm writing over here that is b4 this is edit text four this is b4 now i'm talking about button number four i'm talking about r dot id dot that is edit text text here instead of all this you just need to use the share compact class so i'm just removing all this and here you can write that is a share compact is the class dot you can use the intent builder dot from here you need to mention the main activity so i'm writing here that is main activity dot this dot you can set the type so i'm just setting the type over here that is text plane so i just want to set the text plane dot set text what text you want to share so i want to share the text that is available in the edit text for dot get text dot to string and i want to start the chooser so i'm writing here that is dot start chooser so this text will be shared into the application that where you want to share the text now you can run this particular application and you will get the effect over here you can write the text for example i am writing the text that is android is very easy and you can click on share text now it is asking me where you want to share the text i want to share the text in a message so you can click on message i want to start the new conversation so new message which number for example 1 2 3 4 5 and if you click on send to here you will get the message android is very easy you can just send the sms so android is very easy sms is send over here so this is the way you can share the text what i did i did nothing i used the four different native application over here in my own application it is known as a implicit intent now i want to use the explicit intent over here so let me modify the design here you can take one more button and here you can just change the text of this button that is open another activity it means that i want to open the another activity whenever you are opening your own another activity from your own application it is known as an explicit intent so for that i need to create the activity so i'm just moving to my project here you can just right click on your app you can select the new activity empty activity and here you can give the name of your activity i'm giving the name of my activity is this is another activity and you can click on finish so my another activity is created over here now here in another activity i want to take the text so i'm just selecting the text to drag and drop over here you can click on infer constraint i want to change the text over here so you can click on split and here you can just change the text that is welcome to another activity you can change the text to size I'm selecting the text size is 40 SP. You can change the text style that is bold. You can change the text color that is has 000. So it will be black. 
and here you can write that welcome to another activity so here you can write slash n and here also you can write slash n you can use the gravity that is a center so it will be center alignment that is welcome to another activity now i want to open this welcome to another activity whenever user click on the button number five so here in main activity you can write the code and that code is what button b5 is equal to find view by id r dot id dot button number five now whenever button five is click you can write a new control space and you can select the view dot on click listener whenever the button five is click i want to open the another activity so you can write here that is a intent i1 equal to new intent you can provide the two argument over here the first argument that is a main activity dot this so from where you are and where you want to go so i want to go in a another activity so i'm writing another activity dot class and you can just start the activity and you can pass i1 so this is known as a explicit intent you can just run this particular application and you will get the effect over here in the emulator now if you enter the url for example https colon slash slash www.google.com then it will open the website so it's a browser so it's a implicit intent now suppose if you enter the number for example one two three four five then it will open the dial page it's a implicit intent now suppose if you enter location for example nfsu gandhinagar and if you click on open location it will open the google map and suppose if you enter the text over here that is a testing and if you click on share text it will open the application where you can share the text and suppose if you click on open another activity then it will open the another activity this is known as a explicit intent so this is the way you can implement the implicit intent and explicit intent in android java so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day